Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a Piney Podcast, all things South Jersey. Welcome, Pineys. Smash the like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. The Pineys books one through seven. Buy a Christmas gift for your favorite Piney today. Now, let's get into it. Not a lot of news today, so this will be a short one. Nine great main streets in New Jersey you should visit. Lambertville, eh, Union Street. Eh, doesn't look very exciting. Just looks like a bunch of houses, but okay. Montclair, Bloomfield Avenue. Yeah, they got some stuff going on. I've actually been to Montclair, and they've got live music, boutiques. Um, it's a little busy car-wise. I think they should probably block off the entire street, at least one of them. But um, yeah, they got some cool stuff there. Haddonfield Kings Highway, not as good as it once was, but still pretty good. It's, it's my go-to place. You, you might see me walking down there every once in a while. Um, it's pretty good. It, it's been better. They, they let a chain restaurant build a spot there, I think. I think it's a chain restaurant, which was weird. Like, years ago, it had to be super, super upscale. And it, But, you know, other than that, it's still okay. It's still okay. It needs a little more... I don't know what it needs... It needs like more activities yeah it's gotten a little too I don't know it's just not as cool as it once was it's it it needs it needs something I don't know what uh, Newton Spring Street never been there it's a nice looking uh, old-timey theater though oh that's the Newton Fire Museum oh it's a museum hmm Hoboken Washington Street never been there don't know if I want to go to Hoboken but uh, I guess that it looks nice. It's a nice picture. Red Bank. I have been there. Broad Street? Eh, I guess. That just looks like a bunch of houses. Long Branch, Brighton Avenue. All these guys are up north. And you're showing a family pharmacy. I mean, in a parking lot? I, I don't know. It doesn't look that great. Princeton, Nassau Street. Yeah, Princeton's pretty, pretty rad. They still got some stuff going on. I think they still have the vinyl shop there. The record place. Chester, Main Street. I don't think I've ever been there. It looks pretty quaint. And that's about it. Okay, so moving on. Downtowns across South Jersey offer unique gifts and personal connections this holiday season. Do they, Courier Post? Do they? So let's see what they got. Now, this stuff is all crap to me. I mean, you know, wooden stuff and decorations. I don't like to put all this stuff up. It's just a waste of money. Now, this is cool. Gourmet peppermint soap. It looks good enough to eat, really, but um, I assume it smells nice. This this soap's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oh, this is Medford. That's a nice-looking uh, old-timey sign. Um, belts. It's an old-timey shop. It's a, This looks like the guy's shop. <laughs> uh, eh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Little, little pennants, old-timey pennants. Old-timey books and signs uh, this looks like a bookstore how to resist Amazon and why and why peeks out from a bookshelf at second time books oh I think I've been there yeah I think I did a signing at one of their festivals or something yeah they're a pretty nice shop There's a lot of used books I think if I'm remembering correctly got Santa jewelry not sure who would wear that it's a shelf of various knickknacks. So, oh, they got a huge list here. Huge list. Small Businesses Saturday and other events to support local businesses in South Jersey. So Burlington County has stuff in Morristown, Mount Laurel, and Medford. Uh, oh, they're all different dates. Uh, you have to go here. This is Yahoo News reprinting, I think, the Courier Post. So check it out if you're interested. Uh, Kate May, Gloucester. Uh, oh, and Hamilton. Small Business Saturday, November 27th. I might have to check that out. Uh, New Jersey awards $75 million in grants for school facilities statewide. I don't, I'm not sure we can afford this. I'm not sure if it's going to be a good amount of money, but I mean, it seems like a low amount of money compared to the amount of money Murphy pees away on other things. Get rid of the, the, the contact tracers and you'd have plenty of money. You'd have more than enough money to give grants and awards. But, I mean, the state's broke. 
the state's broke. He's really spending federal dollars at this point. Um, shooter sought after a woman wounded in South Jersey. This was in Fairton, near a Sunoco station, in Bridgeton Fairton Road. So if you saw the shooting there, what town was it in? Oh, well, she was airlifted to Camden. That's where everybody goes in South Jersey if you're seriously injured. Um, so if you saw something, in, oh, it's a, it was in Cumberland County. Cumberland County, if you saw something. Uh, New Jersey highways are worse than any other state, says report. Yeah, I don't know if I believe this or if this is just a setup to um, uh, justify all the money that's coming down from the federal government. Like, oh, well, we do have the worst highways, so it's good we got this money, even though it made my taxes go up. Um, you know, are New Jersey highways bad? They're bad up north, but they get more use up north. So, uh, I don't know. Down down there here, our highways are pretty good for the most part. Every once in a while you'll hit something, you know, pothole-wise. But for the most part, I think they're okay. It's up north Jersey where they get a lot of use and they just, they never quite fix them right. They're always patching stuff. Man indicted on 17 counts after shootout with police. Wow. It's a lot of indictments, and I'm sure they're very serious. Oh, here they all are. Wow. Two counts of attempted murder, first degree. Two counts of aggravated assault, second degree. Two counts of aggravated assault, third degree. Two counts of aggravated assault, fourth degree. Wow, there's four degrees now. Two counts of resisting arrest, third degree. Two counts of resisting arrest, fourth degree. Those are, see, those four counts right there, they're, they're nothing. They're, they're, that's just like the cops adding insult to injury because you didn't surrender. Unlawful possession of a weapon, first degree. Unlawful possession of a weapon, second degree. Again, that sounds redundant. Possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose, second degree. Sounds redundant. I'm not justifying what the guy did. I'm just saying, like, they do this so you plea to, like, three of these and feel like you got off. Receiving stolen property, third degree. Certain persons not to possess a weapon, second degree. Isn't that the same as possession of a weapon for unlawful per I guess not. It's ridiculous. Possession of a weapon by certain offender, first degree. What? Okay. How about how about having a shootout with cops? How about endangering the lives of civilians? Where's all that? I don't know. The law is an absolute train wreck these days. Uh, let's see. Ah, nuts. New Jersey Starbucks employee worked after testing positive for hepatitis A. Yeah, see, we got bigger fish to fry here. Um, this was in Gloucester Township at a Camden County Starbucks. Ooh, oh my God. Store located at 14900 Blackwood Clementon Road. Is that the one where the Kmart used to be? Oh God. I haven't been there in a while, but I, I'll never go there again. Oh no. Oh no, that that could be really bad if, you, if that got into somebody's food. Oof, oofa. Yeah, I guess that is. That's the one. That's the one near the plaza that used to be where Kmart was on Blackwood Clementon Road. Mm. Not good. Well, thankfully we got a Tim Hortons in our neighborhood now, so got a new place to hang. Three indicted for trafficking ghost guns. Woo! From Pennsylvania to New Jersey. Uh, no, it's very serious. I, I'm sure. I mean, I, I'm sure they're not doing anything good with them. Um, so, it's a weapons trafficking. Very serious charges. Um, so, goodbye. Food Bank of New Jersey plans to distribute 18,000 turkeys this Thanksgiving. And they always do. I, you know, I think that's good. But at the same time, I wonder, like, if you're really, really dirt poor, like, like cooking a turkey is like a big deal, right? It's it's hard. It's hard to cook a turkey. You gotta kind of know what you're doing to cook a bird that big, and that like, you know, it seems like maybe some people wouldn't have the skill, if you know what I mean. Because it's easy to screw that up, you know. Um, but hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. Um, from color TVs to Monopoly, these inventions. From companies got their start in South Jersey. Ooh, do we have a list? Do we have a list? Baseball rubbing mud. Oh, neat. Cool. I think there was somebody looking for 
people to help harvest the mud at one point. Beach resorts. Atlantic City became the most well-known Jersey Shore town by the 1900s as playground of the world. Oh, but it was not the first beach resort in America. Well, why did he put it on the list? Weirdos. The boardwalk. Yeah, that was that was us. Uh, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> blueberries. Well, we didn't invent blueberries, but we cultivated them. And uh, the, the blueberry millionaires in uh, Hamilton's a real thing. Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> yeah, well, Burlington, sure. Campbell Soup. Yep. Um, not bad. I mean, like, yeah, there's better soups now, but they, they've got newer soups, too. Canned tomatoes. Oh, neat. Well, we had a lot of Italians, so makes sense. Cranberries. Obviously, selling them like the blueberries. We didn't invent cranberries, but drive-in movies. Oh, yeah. Hmm, neat. Flexible flyers. What is that? Uh, invented a steerable wooden sled. Oh, okay. So some kind of plow, I guess. Or, wait, flyer. Oh, no, it's like a sled. Okay, I get it. We invented the sled. Oh, look at that. Flying fish craft beer. That's, that's more recent. It's 30 years ago. And the greatest in South Jersey... When Muhammad Ali lived in Cherry Hill. Oh, I had no idea he lived in Cherry Hill. My father met him once and got his autograph. Um, grape juice. Huh. A dentist and teetotaling churchgoer objected to drinking wine for Holy Communion. So we... Uh, this was in 1869. Oh, Welch's? Founded in Vineland. Who knew? Irrigation and frozen food. I'm not sure. We didn't invent irrigation, but frozen food... Yeah. Yeah. Albert P. Seabrook started to farm in 1870. Oh, he partnered with Clarence Birdseye. Okay. So there you go. Lacus Coffee. Uh, yeah. And Ponzios, they serve it. I love Ponzios. Laser Bar Code Scanners. Cool. That, that has speed things up. That has sped, sped up retail to a huge degree. Military Defense. Oh, the Aegis Shield. They're talking about the Aegis in Morristown. Um, I've been in that weird tower building, by the way. Organic fertilizers. Cool. Uh, locomotives. An event hailed as a great railroad experiment happened in Bordentown almost 200 years ago. Neat. Mason jars. Oh, wow. That's That's got to be an old one. Huh. John Landis Mason of Vineland. Good for you, New Jersey. That's a piney. That's a piney invention right there. More coffee. <laughs> um, Lita, USA, North America. It's a coffee roasting plant. Uh, metal smelting. I'm not surprised with that because the bog iron and that stuff. Monopoly, of course, because it's based after the streets in Atlantic City. NFL Films. Not really an invention, but yeah, sure. They, they were... You know, they're the guys who do the, it was a cold August, September day, and the Dallas Cowboys were losing, and the Eagles were winning, and they came back to win the Super Bowl, like that kind of stuff. Pullman cars. What is that? It's, a, it's like a train car? Something like that. Record players and television sets. Yep, RCA was based out of Morristown. Um, I had relatives that worked there, too. Snowboards, neat, neat, 1963 invented. Wheat and glass, some kind of glass. Oh, glass bottles, hmm, neat. And that's it, so cool stuff from New Jersey. See, we give you so much, we give so much. New Jersey makes and the world takes. And finally, the FBI is searching for Jimmy Hoffa's body again in Jersey City, New Jersey. What? When are we going to give this up? The man's dead. Okay, uh, all the guys who probably committed the crime are long dead. You know, I get it. It's a mystery. How, how, how are you going to how are you gonna find a guy? <laughs> you know, they just obliterated his body, obviously, or you just can't find it. I, you know, why are you doing this again? Uh, is this like to have something... 
According to reports in the New York Times and New York Post, FBI agents have returned to the site first searched in 1975 following the deathbed confessions of a worker who claims he buried Hoffa's, Hoffa's body in a steel drum in a landfill. Uh, it sits beneath the Pulaski Skyway, turned into the Skyway Park Con Conservancy in 2012. I guess. I mean... I, I don't think you're going to find them. I don't think you're going to find them. And if they put any kind of acid in the in the, in the the oil drum with them, it's all gone. I mean, how long do you think a body lasts? It, it's, it's stupid. Stop wasting taxpayer money. I think the FBI has bigger fish to fry. Quite frankly, at this point, I, I'd like to disband the FBI. I think you could probably find four guys in 4chan who could do a better job than those guys, but... That's it for me, Tony D. See you next time, Pineys.